Here's a wonderful new idea for Christmas fun. Now you can turn your home into a window wonderland with a magic of glass wax and a set of these easy to use cut out stencils for glass wax. Why, it's so easy a child can do it. Just pour regular glass wax into a dish, dip in a sponge, and simply dab over one of the stencil designs. Put a jolly Santa like this on your windows in a matter of seconds. Or Christmas trees, wreaths, Santa and his reindeer, all the lovely signs of Christmas that will make your home a window wonderland. All through the magic of glass wax and a set of these cut-out stencils for glass wax. Buy your set of Christmas stencils wherever you buy regular glass wax. Beautiful holiday designs to help make a window wonderland at your home this Christmas. Good evening. And welcome to Chiller Theater. And this evening you'll be both charmed and chilled by a new and very different breed of monsters, the Cape Canaveral monsters. Now here are strange creatures from outer space that destroy, that cannot be destroyed, that delight in all that is devious and deadly. And get ready for incomparable science fiction thrills. The Cape Canaveral monsters make their way into your living room in just one minute. Take it and sew it back on at the laboratory. Hurry, Nadja. All right, 
T-minus 30 minutes and counting. We have jumped the count on test number one to T-minus 30 minutes. Command on internal. Affirmative. Telemetry in launch condition. Affirmative. Missile in internal DC. Affirmative. 
What better time to learn? He is still a student. Buck out. General Hollister here. Corporal Wilson, sir, gate 17. The dogs are upset, sir, and I can't see any reason for it. No one prowling around? No, sir, no sign of anything. Put a leash on the dogs and take a look. Does that mean there was something outside that could have caused the failure? More likely the dog smelled a rabbit. Tomorrow we make another shot. I suggest we run the tapes and see what they have to tell us. This is Frankie, big year. <laughs> You know you are to speak only Earth English on this assignment. Do you not, Haran? Your arm. It has been torn off again. I'll tell you all about it when we get back to the ship. You have a great future in this work. Maybe. So do not try to make better progress by, uh, how do you say, making gooko eyes at my knees. That huh? isn't fair. He was only asking me we'd go with him for coffee when we were through here. After all, this isn't Germany. I didn't really mean that. But this is America. I was born here and I... Dr. Von Hoffman. It's different here. The kids, well, they have more freedom. I do not care what they do here. While she is here, she will do as I say. He also is here on my request. I selected him from over 200 applicants because his school record showed that he is virtually a mathematical genius. I need youngsters like this, but I will not tolerate for one minute mixing business on pleasure while I am in charge of this project. Dr. Van Hoppen is right, Sally. You are his responsibility. He didn't ask me to marry him, just coffee. I know. Come in. Intelligence told me to bring this straight over to you, sir. What the hell is it? The dogs pulled this off a man they were chasing. It's impossible for a dog to pull a man's arm off this way. It just can't be done. Did you see the man? Yes, sir. I got several shots at him. I, uh... I guess I missed. But you don't think you missed? No, sir. I don't think I did miss. Leave it with me. I'll see if it gets back to intelligence. I'm not a surgeon, but I would swear that this arm was shorn off. Secret briefing session waiting for me, Agent Zero M. I'm ready, sir. Splendid. You will need certain special equipment. First, this portable radio. 
or so it seems. Yes? Show him the Zero M radio rifle. Created especially for counter-espionage by Mattel. The Zero M jet coder writes a secret message you can see only with these glasses. And if you get in a jam... This is the Zero M snapshot. Well named. Press here and the snapshot. You see, it's not a camera. All three come in this special Zero M weapon set by Mattel. Or separately, of course. We cleverly place them wherever toys are sold for agents who might need extras. You know the password. Zero M. Correct. You leave immediately? Right after school. Oh, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> He I go, he I go, fighting man from head to toe, on the land, on the sea, in the air. He I go, attack! Go, go! He I go, take sail! Bam, bam! Terrific battle! Terrific equipment to have a battle with. When you get G.I. Joe and the authentic G.I. Joe equipment, you'll have the greatest realism, the greatest fun you ever had in playing soldier. Box after box of authentic uniforms and equipment so you can change your G.I. Joe soldier into a camouflage marine ready for battle. A Navy frogman with complete scuba suit and inflatable life raft. An Air Force pilot with high altitude helmet and air vest. Get G.I. Joe and get G.I. Joe equipment so you can set up exciting battle action whenever you want. Remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Into the deepest jungles went Pressman toy makers looking for something new. The secret they brought back for you is incredible. The Pressman Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. Plastic flesh, mixing cauldron and petrifying potion. Just pour it into the mold and in minutes you can add monster hair. Paint it with a coloring kit included or make up your own decorations. In 24 hours, the heads shrink, shrink down. Now, shrunken heads for all occasions. Collect them, swap them, give them to your witch doctor friends. You can always cook up more with Pressman's Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. This is Boniface Collins. He lives in a strange world. A world of vampires, werewolves, and dark shadows. Now the world of dark shadows is yours in a strange new game by Milton Bradley. The Barnabas Collins Dark Shadows game. Each player spins, then selects bones from the coffin. But watch out for the dreaded stake. You struggle to complete a skeleton. A skeleton that glows in the dark. If you win, the curse of the vampire is yours. Mm -hmm. In the game, you get a set of Barnabas fangs. Milton Bradley makes the best games in the world. And the Barnabas Collins game is the scariest. So get it. Three creatures with the eerie glowing features. They're boys and girls who discovered Kenner's new lightning bug glow juice. Paint it on yourself. It soaks up the light and then glows in the dark. Make all kinds of things glow in the dark with Kenner's glimmering, shimmering lightning bug glow juice. It'll glow on you. From these eerie laboratories, from the wild imagination of Kooky Professor comes a fantastic new creature. Is it man or monster? It's Big Lou, giant moon robot by Marx. You can make him work for you, fight for you, even talk to you with ten complete phrases. You sight the enemy through Big Lou's target scope. You can make him fight with all kinds of weapons. Blast off! Fire! Load his gun barrel arm and... Bam! Can anything stop him? No! Big Lou has all the tricks! Hear his bell. Blow his whistle. You can even buy batteries that make his eyes flash. He's ready to work for you, fight for you, even talk to you. Get the giant moon robot. Bargain price, Big Lou. By Marx. It's the noble 
Gold Knights by Marx. Meet the Gold Knights, Sir Gordon. Prepare him for battle. Pose him 1,001 ways. Mount him on Bravo as charger. Now, ready for the fray. Here comes Sir Stork, the Silver Knight. He's charging. That's firm, Noble Knight. Forward, forward, charge with all your might. The Silver Knight has fallen. Is he through? His horse, Valor, is waiting. Now it's up to you. He's back on. Armor without dent. At it, Noble Knights. On with the tournament. Get the Gold Knight, Sir Gordon. Get the Silver Knight, Sir Stuart. Each complete with 38 pieces of armor and weapons. Get their horses, Bravo and Valor. Each with over 10 pieces of gear. Collect the Noble Knights by Marks. assignment for them. Checked my spy attache case. Off. Telescope set. Code sender ready. Coding machine okay. Signal flasher on. Passport spy money. Built-in camera loaded. Microphone ready. Testing one, two, three. He's coming through. Loud and clear. comfortable in the body of the earthlings. From the very first, I was against you for a partner. Oh, you're a good enough scientist. And you are for the plan. But no violence. Oh, I know what's bothering you. You lost an arm. Now that arm must be replaced. And that means finding a living arm. Somewhere. You'd better get back in your body. I'm beginning to get through. between us will not help our work. Any time you wish to return to our planet, you have my permission. 
the leader decides who will return to our planet and when. Turn it off for now. I'll see if our beam can be narrowed. Okay, who's got the sodium chloride? You sound like my uncle. Plain everyday table salt, but you have to call it sodium. Sodium chloride. Und wein nach schnucki, dort ist es chemical name. Vanessa, he buns an aspirin. He always asks for a seed of salt, That's it. acid. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> my father's the same way. Drives me nuts when he wants anything. I should be thanking your uncle instead of making fun of him. If he hadn't made such a fuss this afternoon. All we would have done is gone for coffee together. I like this better. Here we are. I told you she looks cute without her glasses. <laughs> she sure does. I picked this up in town like you asked. I also dug this up. Now, there's no question about what station we listened to. Uh, 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 one thing. Okay, you gotta promise not to take it apart, see what makes it tick. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Turning it on and off to clear soon. Did you reset the beam? And the line core. There it is again. There what is? Static, like a transmitter being turned off and on. Sounds all right now. Well, that's not the point, Sally. There shouldn't be any transmitters working on this frequency. It's against the law. Well, how do you know it is a transmitter? Might be a storm. Well, when I checked the weather for the professor this morning, no sunspots, no storm. I'm sure that's a transmitter. Uh, 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 uh. Remember, you promised. Besides, with all that noise going on in the back, we can't hear our radio. Change your station, Bob. See if you get interference. Hmm, that was real nice. We have KYR, they have KXTX, and we both get static. What does that mean? how to get in touch with the authorities. What could you tell them? You don't know where it's coming from. I can find out easy enough. Use this as a direction finder. And walk in the direction the static gets the loudest. And when it gets loud enough, you find the transmitter. Leave it to old Tom to figure a way to get the pretty girls alone. You better stay here, Sally. I don't know what I might find. A little green men, maybe? I think I will come. And I have to build everything here myself. Makes me long to be back home in a real laboratory. But this should do it. Expedition number two. Earth expedition number two. Are we coming in clear? Reception bad, but understandable. Are we clear? Clearing out to communicate. What do you have to report? Another launching stopped. They still have no idea why their missiles are failing. Excellent. The council has voted both of you full memberships for this work. How is the work on the invasion fleet progressing? Slow. However, if you can keep Earth from discovering space flight for a few more months. Does it hurt much? Not really. It's these shoes. Well, I think we'd better go back. Don't be silly. It doesn't hurt that much. It seems to be coming from over that hill. Come on. You can lean on me. for our 
experiments, especially females. We will see to it, Lita. We have to make another capture anyhow. To repair Horon's arm. You must be more careful with the electroconvulsive shock and the freezing. The last ones you sent were dead when they arrived. That makes study extremely difficult. I will see to it. That means the transmitter's been turned off? Yeah, just when we're getting close. What can we do now? Well, I think we better tell your uncle about it. This may have something to do with the missiles. Look, I... Dr. Von Hoffen doesn't have to know that you were with me. Besides, I think the general would be a better bet. Do you think they'll believe you? You know how they acted today. They'll believe me. This can be checked. This place gives me the creeps. We wait till after the launching to find more Earthlings. I can get by with one arm till then. Don't you owe it to the Council to use all your facilities for your work? Every missile from Cape Canaveral has either failed or was let go to avoid undue suspicion. Could you have done any better? Well, I was just... I have to get this power pack fixed up right. Now, don't bother me again. Is that clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. General Hollister what you found last night. You know what you were telling me about? General, there's an illegal transmitter working somewhere in the hills. It might have a bearing on those missiles. I didn't do badly for a one-armed man, did I? Do we start looking for some specimens to send back now? No, I think not. Night seems like a better time. For now, I think we need some rest. I mean, if it was something really important, wouldn't the general have checked it out? He didn't even ask the right questions. Just because Tom isn't 40 years old. <sighs> well, it can't be sunspots, or I, I couldn't have traced it as far as I did. I don't know about you guys, but, but I'm getting cold. What now, genius? You still have that radio? Yeah. I'm going back where I stopped last night. Well, we'll look through. Well, if that transmitter starts up again, I should be able to pinpoint the place of origin. And then the general will have to listen to me. I'm climbing in the car before I freeze to death. In case anyone cares. Bob will warm you up. I'm going with Tom. What about your feet? Tonight I came prepared. 
You little monkey, how did you know I was saying It's called a woman's intuition. other side is clever too. Clever enough to corner the smoothest agent, but the game isn't over yet. This camera case is actually the new Zero M undercover set. They didn't know you can buy the Zero M movie shot separately or the undercover set. Too bad. Bold and brave, strong and true. Lightning from the blue. Captain Action! Captain Action! So super powerful you can change him into nine of the mightiest superheroes of all time. Change Captain Action's uniform and face mask, and he's Batman! Fighting crime with his batarang. He's the mysterious Phantom. He's the Lone Ranger! He's Flash Gordon, and he's Superman, flying to the rescue. Get Captain Action, complete with uniform, sword, and ray gun. Then get his nine other great superhero outfits. They each come with action-ready uniform, face mask, and realistic equipment. Fighting evil, that's the creed. Thundering power, lightning speed. Captain Action, he's ideal. Here's what a vacuum foam can do. Look at the things it'll make for you. One kit you buy will fill a zoo. And this new kit makes trucks for you. That's what a vacuum foam can do. Make jeeps and tanks, it's up to you. Another kit for metals, too. That's what a vacuum foam can do. Get vacuum foam, make anything with plastic and a mold. These kits and packs come separately wherever toys are sold. They're slugging it out in the middle of the ring. And you a hard ride to the job. And Blue Bonnet Black is knocked off. His block is knocked off? Sure, but you can press it right back on again. It's just part of the action with the world's only boxing robots, the Rock'em Sock'em Robots by Marks. Takes two managers to handle the fighters and lots of skill to win. With these control levers, you can keep your fighters in motion to duck punches. When you press this plunger, he throws a right uppercut. Press the other plunger and there's a left jab. Lots of exciting action and fun for everyone when the world's only boxing robots battle it out. The blue bomber is looking for an opening. And there it is. That's the end of round two. Just push the flying head back and you're ready for round three. Boy, this is the greatest. You bet. The world's only boxing robots. Get the Rock'em Sock'em Robots by Marks. This is Major Matt Mason, Mattel's man in space. Ready for every adventure with all his official equipment. The space station, protected by solar shields. The moon suit, designed for exploration. The space crawler that keeps on going no matter what. Get them together or separately. And share the exciting adventures of Major Matt Mason, Mattel's new man in space. 
I'm the Soaky Kid. Now Soaky the Fun Bath comes in two brand new monster toys. The creature from the Black Lagoon. That's cold. And the mummy. Wow, what happened to you? I fell off my bike, Sonny. Here's something to cheer you up. The brand new Soaky Toys. Me, mummy, and me, the creature. Come on, let's take a Soaky Fun Bath right now. Bet you these new monster toys will scare the dirt away. Soaky soaks you clean in oceans full of fun. Scrabbly bubbly, flippity flippity. Clean before you're done. Soaky soaks you clean. And every girl and boy gets, gets a toy. What a funky, what a funky, it's a toy. Look for Soaky the Fun Bath in the new monster toys. The creature and the mummy. Take a Soaky Bath today. Fun, fun, fun. More fun than getting dirty. Creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers. Now, you can make all kinds of lovely things like these with Mattel's wonderful thing maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders, lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change -o. You've got the bugs. Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. You get four different colors of goop and special paints. Make charming lizard pins or spider rings. You can collect them or spread them around. After all, they are fun for the entire family. <laughs> get Mattel's new thing maker with creepy crawlers. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Give it a snack, on the mo. Give it a crack, on the mo. Then lift up the flap, strip off the wrap, and hey, away we go. We're gonna taste Turkish taffy. Hey, it's delish. Taste Turkish taffy answers every wish. One nice and chewy. Two nice and sweet. Three in the flavor that you prefer. It truly can't be beat. Cause you get chocolate, vanilla, strawberry too. Even banana doodle doodle When you take a trip to your candy store, be sure to get you some Turkish taffy. Yum, yum, yum. You smell it. B-O-N-O-M-O. Bonamo. Oh, oh. One more time. You spell it B O N O M O Bonamo. Oh, oh, Bonamo, Turkish happy. What time is it, honey? Hmm? Oh, it's early. Real early. I wasn't asleep. Bob, hmm? do you think there really are little green men? Oh, if there are, Tom, we'll wipe them out with an adding machine. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard a noise, like a twig break or something. Well, there have been stories about lovers laying bandits and stuff like that. I'll just discourage them off at the top. Oh, Bob, I'm scared. Let's leave now. And leave Tom and Sally? Oh, we'll be all right. I'll protect you. open. Keep that needle blaster handy. Well, 
that's about it for tonight. We'd better call it quits. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow? Sure, you know the unscheduled. I... There's a launching tomorrow and my uncle didn't tell me. Well, after all, Sally, he is the boss. Look, if we did find that transmitter and it was affecting our missiles... He might take us both back in his good graces. Right. And we'll hunt for it all night if we have to. No more for tonight, I'm afraid. But there'll be other nights. something. It's gone now. Oh, look at the time. We better keep moving. Well, that kills the idea of them just wandering off. Hear that? Listen. We could locate this if we find Bob and Shirley. Tom, what can we do? Well, we know about where it is. That's half the battle. I don't know. I think we ought to call the sheriff or the police or somebody. Sally, I know how you feel, but let's look at the facts. For one thing, the keys aren't in the car. That means Bob has them? Or his captors. I could hotwire the ignition, but Bob's got a lock on the steering column. We could walk back to town. Sure, but that would take too long. No telling what would happen to Shirley and Bob in that time. What about Uncle Heinrich? I'm afraid he's going to find out all about it, no matter what we do. Sally, I know you're afraid, but we don't have any other choice. The male specimen later. Correct. Now, how long before the next missile test? Almost a month, Earth time. That is well. Unless you have more to report, we'll cease communication for now. I would like a complete schedule of the procedure for the preparation of the specimens. I wouldn't want anything to happen to the... A complete schedule? Very well. The electric shock is easy. It is the freezing that is difficult. Always check the temperatures of the fluids in the bodies before you start the freezing. Oh, what a time for it to quit. It must be within 50 feet of here. Can we sort of beat the brush until we find it? I guess that's about the only thing we can do. You work over there and I'll start from this side. Hurry with that metallic cloth. She's unconscious now, but earthlings are strange. Everything is ready.
sorry, Tom. I'm a stranger noise, but I'm not sign up. Sally, we better go for help. I'll be all right now. We'll look for another half hour. All right, Tom. You hear that? Hear what? Listen. There's a pool of water in there. I wonder if it has anything to do with the. Just a minute, Sally. How is he? His breathing is very shallow. You were right about his lack of life force. dead. He would never have lived through transmission. Now you know why I didn't want to use his whole body. He had a nice chin, except for that tiny scar. Perhaps the more human I look, the more freely I could move around. His chin to replace yours. It's a man-made cave. You better stay here, Sally. No, thanks. and see what we got this time. Iraq wanted us to send some more small earth animals. It'd be good for us if we can send him some right away. And if your new chin needs a little trimming, I'll fix it when I get back. Maybe I'm dreaming all this. Dreaming? 
Oh, yes. Sometimes when you humans are asleep, you see things that are not real. Dreams. Hmm. I can assure you that Haran and I, Naja, are real. You are from outer space, aren't you? But you look just like... You're breathing our oxygen mixture, and the odds against that are fantastic. Are you a scientist? Just a student. But you understand the theory of elemental mixtures and the mathematical probability of oxygen-breathing species. You are a unusual student, of course. I don't think so. There are plenty of guys my age who are a lot smarter. This is quite some set if you have. Is that really an intergalactic television rig? Intergalactic? Hardly. It's all we can do to raise our planet. You are in our solar system. Enough talk. Let's prepare for the transmission process. Don't be ridiculous. He can be a good source of information. I'd like some information, too. You will learn more there. You mean... this is a spaceship and you'll be taking off? No. You will be transmitted. I'm not familiar with all of your science, so I may not be able to explain it too well. You see that tank? After precise treatment of your cellular structure with electric convulsions and freezing temperatures, you will be immersed in that solution. What is the solution in the tank? An element that would roughly correspond to your uh, hydrogen. Same atomic weight? Much higher. What happened to my friends? A girl and a boy about my size. Don't worry about your friends. Set up the harness and let's get this over with. Oh. What is that gizmo you're using in those restraints? Won't do you any good to know, but it's called drosinon. A rare element in our planet. We use it much the same as you use gold and silver. I hear there's a trace or two of it on this planet. Drosinon. What kind of properties does it have? You really are interested? Well, I'm afraid I can't recall everything about it. In large concentration, it can cause a severe burn. And oh yes, it uh, glows in the dark. What are you going to do to her? Introduce a current of electricity through her cellular structure. Your scientists do much the same thing. They call it electroconvulsive shock therapy. Perhaps you've heard of it. Already, Haran. It won't hurt her, really. instead of talking. How did he escape from that restraint? Hasn't been forced. I don't understand. And now he knows all about us. He went for help. He wouldn't leave here without her except for that reason. And the help? What do we do about them? I think we can handle that. You must not fail 
zero end. This mission is critical. This is the most unusual weapon. It is specially designed for counter-espionage. For Agent Zero M. It's called the Zero M Sonic Blaster. This is why. It fires a massive blast of compressed air. And this tremendous roar is the actual sound. For training purposes, this special delayed action target comes with it. Mattel's powerful Zero M Sonic Blaster, wherever toys are sold. Remember the password, Zero M. From the farthest reaches of the galaxy come the Outer Spacemen. Colossus Rex from the giant planet Jupiter. Astronautilus from beneath the seas of Neptune. Alpha 7, the man from Mars. And their interplanetary companions. Seven bendable, flexible figures from outer space. Complete with their own fantastic super weapons and detachable space helmets. They're here now at toy stores everywhere. The Outer Spacemen. Brought to Earth by Color Forms. This is a creature from the lost world, a creature created by you. With Mattel's strange change machine, you turn time capsules into weird creatures. You control the compression chamber, which turns these creatures back into capsule. Be the creator of a lost world with Mattel's strange change machine. Secret Slam with hidden camera that really works. Your assignment, danger. Your mission, find the master spy. Your weapon, Secret Sam. Through Secret Sam's periscope, you see him, but he can see you. You locate the master spy, you talk to him, and Secret Sam's hidden camera is taking his picture right now. Suddenly you're discovered. Secret Sam fires bullets from inside the case. Secret Sam has barrel extension. Special missile sends message to your partner. Mission accomplished. You hand over real photograph. Secret Sam with periscope, message missile, rifle stock, barrel extension, even shoots through this carrying case. And this real camera that works in secretly or out takes real photos. Zeroids are here, from the planet Zero, the Zeroids! Zerak, the Zeroid commander, frees himself from his own Zeroid capsule. Advance! Zobor, the Zeroid transporter, change his Zeroid capsule into a Cosmobile for hauling. Zintar, the Zeroid explorer, change his Zeroid capsule into a lunar sled. Command the Zeroids to defend. Move forward, backward, and transport. Command the Zeroids from ideal. And this is Danny Dixon? And this is Danny Dixon. How did he get that way? With Mattel's new flight factory and his thing maker. Just plug it in. Pour in genuine plastic goop and out come fangs, claws, shrunken heads and all sorts of scary things. Mattel's new flight factory. No wonder everybody calls Danny Dixon a little monster. Now, a new world of fun with G.I. Joe Air Force. Is your G.I. Joe ready for duty aboard a carrier? Does he have the new deck commander set with jumpsuit, signal paddle, and helmet with earphones? Is he equipped with a new firefighter set, special heat suit, hood, accessory belt, and fire extinguisher? Is he ready to go into space with a new G.I. Joe astronaut capsule and space suit? Silver uniform, space helmet, communications cord. The realistic capsule has simulated retro rockets. Sliding canopy, control panel too. And the capsule floats so recoveries can be made. There's even a phonograph record of an actual flight. 
G.I. Joe is the greatest. Nothing else is G.I. Joe. Boy, oh boy, it's a Hasbro toy. It's super stuff. Not a doll or a putty, but a new, new stuff. Super stuff. Make a super loop. Make a super face. Blow a super bubble. That's super stuff. It's strange and eerie. A wonderful weirdy. Now whip it and flip it. Twist it. Whirl it. Super whirl it. Super stuff. To make it, take water and powder, shake it and wait. Super stuff. The new exciting stuff. Crazy funny fun stuff. Now it stores everywhere. More fun from Wemo. Give me the police department. It's a... All right, the sheriff's office. But hurry, it's an emergency. Sheriff's office. Well, you better talk to the chief deputy. Deputy Chief T.L. Holt here. What? Yes, I know where you are. You call uh, her uncle, this doctor, whatever his name is, and don't leave. I'll be right there. Yes, don't worry. Yes, I know how to get there. Now, don't leave. If anybody wants me, I'm out at Elmer Wesson's Realty. Moss will be with me. Hello. Operator, hello. Hello. Right there, young fellow. This is Mr. Yes, Lightning. take it easy, boy. I call the sheriff. But I just called... Better keep those hands up. Unless you're tired of living. That's better. But I just called the sheriff. Well, now, ain't you the brassy one? <laughs> well, we just, we'll just find out about that. Move that telephone over here. Easy now. Easy. That's right. Howdy, Becky. Yeah, uh-huh. It's fine, thanks, Becky. It's fine. M Mister, it's a matter of life and death. Becky, can you get me the sheriff's office? What? Is that right? You did, huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Fine, Becky. And the same to you. Becky, she's the operator. She says you did call the sheriff's office. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Mr. Uh... Weston, no, my Weston. I own this place. How young are you? What's this all about, eh? Look, Mr. Uh, uh, Wesson. Just let me use your telephone for a minute, and I'll be glad to give you the whole story. Oh, just tell me all about it right now. Those phone bills mount up, you know. Uh, my name is Tom Wright. I work at Cape Canaveral. A group of friends and myself were having a picnic the other evening. Now, take it to the other cave we made, the one with no exit. So I come back here then? No. I'll join you there later, after I finish making plans for the return of her friend. Go now!
you see? I've been all through the old hills. Never saw any cave. Now let's get you, boy. Howdy, deputy. This young fellow here claims you'll vouch for him. That all depends. You can tell us your story on the way. Now, wait for me, fellas. I want to change my clothes and come right with you. Nadja, I... Uh... We'll discuss it another time. You put her clothes in the proper place. I'll prepare for her friend. I still think I did the right thing, sending both the boy and the girl to our planet. I saw the window. Energy masses from other planets. Sewing on arms. That's hey, Chief, the part about the arm could be right. The Cape Canaveral people turned one over to us. I don't trust him. Why? Well, his whole story sort of depends on a cave, don't it? I guess so. There ain't a cave in any one of them hills, and that's a fact. Let's go see. The young fella, Tom. Nothing feels broken. Doggone this thing I ever did see. Nothing but a little old bean ball, like the made men's meat out, all of us. What do you suppose it was? Beats me, but we need help to handle it, that's for sure. Moss, you stay on guard. I'll take the old man back and dig up a posse. Now, hold on there a minute. I was in this thing at the start, and I am to be in at the end. Besides, uh, this fella here, he ought to be took to a doctor and looked at. Oh, I'm all right. He has a point. All right. Old man, I'll leave you on guard, down to the cars. Keep your eyes open and don't let anyone in or out till I get back. Understand? Yes, sir. Let's go. No bridge yet of Sally. No. No word of Tom either. You think they are together then? I don't know what I think. You don't seem very worried about being recaptured. When Tom doesn't show up for the test this morning, my uncle wouldn't... Oh? A missile test? 
Oh, I see. There is. But there isn't any schedule for almost a month. When my uncle wants to, we can do... Yes, go on. You were saying about your uncle? Don't say any more, Sally. How about a trade? Our freedom for our knowledge. No, Tom, please, there we go. Okay. Only say, okay. What is that language you speak? Just my way of telling her that I love her. Well, we may make a deal, but first tell me, how did you escape from the restraint? Easy. <laughs> but how? Your element draws in on us what we call radium. We have so much of it on Earth that we use it on our watch dials to tell time in the dark. Find out more about the missile to be tested this morning. Why, we have no more power. It'll take at least a week to recharge the pack. If I tell you how you could destroy that missile, would you let us go? Well... Yes. If you can help us, we'll let you go. The missile being tested uses no radium. If you have weapons that are blocked by this element, they should work on this projectile. Could rewire the disruptor ray and give us some range. Are you positive it contains no radium? Positive. Good. It'll work then. When will you set us free? When Haran returns and we know you are telling the truth. I'd better get busy then. This ought to give us a little more time. So what then? Don't worry. I called the sheriff's department in on the deal. That's why I had to take a chance and leave you. I knew you wouldn't have left me without a good reason. I think with a little help, we can lick these freaks. Oh, Tom, I hope so. You probably think I'm just an ordinary guy. But in the sinister world of counter-espionage, I'm known as Agent Zero M. Interesting equipment and counterintelligence, like this portable radio. Supposing I'm here in Monte Carlo, trapped by enemy agents. I play it cool. Just want to hear a little music. That's a tune they didn't expect. The new Zero M radio rifle. Looks like a radio, but touch this button. Rather neat, eh? So's this. The Zero M jet coder pen has two points. Writes a secret message you can see only with these glasses. And fires a jet of water 30 feet. To get your Zero M radio rifle and jet coder, just remember the password. Bobby, are you going to mow the lawn or not? The password? Zero M. Motorized monsters. Fiendishly fun. And you make them walk with your motorized monster maker. You pour the colored plastics for OG Ogre. With extra kits, you make Harry Harry, Harry, or bald. You choose the ears for Galaxon, the horns for Willy Weird Wolf. Motorized monsters. Design them, make them, get them. A one, a two, a three, four, five, a six. 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 Surprise, it's Six Finger. It looks like your finger, but watch him flip. It's a secret weapon at your fingertip. Just point and fire. Six Finger sends an SOS missile to your friends. Six Finger! Six Finger! Six Finger! Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode as a ballpoint pen and signals in code. Looks like a finger so no one can see who has six finger. Me! 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 Shoots rockets that burst and bombs that explode and frights with a pen and signals in code shoot message missiles and watch them go and it looks like your finger and how will they know six fingers six fingers six fingers here's how to get it on the card right there less than two dollars everywhere six fingers six finger man alive how did i ever get along with five 
Secret Sam. Where? Where? Secret Sam. Here? Here? Secret weapon in this case shoots from inside. Secret Sam. Real camera. Really works? Takes real photos inside, outside. Black and white. Color two. 16 photos from each row. Secret Sam. With periscope, message missile, rifle stock, barrel extension, shoots from outside, shoots from inside. Real camera. Hide it inside. Hold it outside. Real photos. There's only one Secret, Secret Sam. Now another wonderful toy from Topper. Putty. Silly Putty. Silly Putty. The solid liquid. The fascinating toy for the whole family. You've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I'll show you how you can make Silly Putty do whatever you like. Silly Putty. The liquid miracle. Silly Putty bounces higher and higher like a rubber ball. <laughs> Some bounce. <laughs> Silly Putty is able to pick up pictures from newspapers or comic books. Even in full color. And then it stretches them into something even funnier. Silly Putty can be broken apart. Amazing. You can pull it. Just like Kathy, it's endless. Pull. That's amazing. Silly Putty. Wonderful Silly Putty. There's so much fun to Silly Putty. Be sure you get the real Silly Putty. That's nothing else than Silly Putty. It's fun for everyone, young and old alike. Hey. Thank you. Oh, why not? Silly Putty's great for children. It's time for Funny Face. <laughs> funny Face is fun to drink. Oh, that is, here he comes. Funny Face is fun to drink. The one to drink when you're having fun. Funny Face is fun. Fun to drink for everyone. Goofy Grape. <laughs> Ginger Orange. Freckle Face Strawberry. Shiny Cherry. Love a lime. Broken Toot and Raspberry. Yahoo! Huh. Funny face drinks from Pillsbury. Pre-sweetened without sugar. Mom lets me drink all I want, because there's not a speck of sugar in Funny Face. But it tastes good and sweet. And no sugar mess all over the kitchen, either. Funny Face is fun to drink. Ask them for Funny Face drinks. <laughs> They're in trouble. Will they escape? It's up to you with the Best of the West by Marx. Rush Captain Maddox to the rescue along with General Custer. Who started it? Ferocious Chief Geronimo on his horse Comanche. And there's Johnny West with his horse Thunderbolt. Jay West drives the buckboard with his sister Janice while his twin brother riding Concho fires to turn the herd. There's Jane West. Can she control the covered wagon? The stampede is getting closer. Will Jane and Janice escape? It's up to you. You're the boss of the Wild West with your Best of the West collection. Each figure complete with up to 31 pieces of authentic gear. And look how you can pose Comanche. Get the Best of the West by Marx. Wham-O presents the Firetron Formula Super Ball and Super Elastic Bubble Plastic. Plastic bubbles from a tube. Just squeeze it out and blow it up. They last and last. Firetron Super Ball gives you 50,000 pounds of compressed energy for crazy bouncing tricks. Firetron Super Ball and Super Elastic Bubble Plastic sold separately from Wham-O.
Freddie, I'm going to have to hang up now. I hear the boss. He's coming. Can you call a General Hollister at Cape Canaveral? He says it's important. See if you can get it. Yes, sir. General Hollister, please. depend on an old man. young fellow said it was, too. Can you show us where it is? Well, I, I see this fellow sneaking along, see? Acting very suspicious. Yeah, 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 we know all that. But right now, where are the kids? Well, I didn't see them anyplace, but I know they must be in that cave. Now that I know there is a cave... Well, let's get them. Shouldn't we have heard something by now, Tom? If I hadn't tied my hands, we'd be out of here by now. While you were dozing, two, maybe three sirens. Close. Lover's Lane, I guess. Tom, did you really hear that? Don't need to let them in on it. We have to get out of here. Uh, yeah, me too. Do you suppose your uncle would mind? Uh, us getting married, I mean. Is that a proposal? I guess it is. Well, yes, I know. You may be bright at math, but you certainly don't know much about women. <laughs> transmit ourselves back and meet with the council. Do you mean we must not kill our little Earth friends? Is that it? Perhaps the leader can start the invasion sooner than planned. Then they'll all be killed. Why not now? Their science can be of use to us. Perhaps the tool by which they die. All right. 
What's first? We'll use the big paralysis ray. Help me with it. Now, this is Major General Hollister of the United States Army. You are hereby ordered to surrender. Wasting time. Let's go in and get him. Won't do you any good to try another escape while we're back on our planet. I've locked the Satsis beam on in the car, though. As for the ship, I don't think there's anything here that you can hurt. All right, Nadja. Let's get into the tank. Joke, it's a miniature slide rule. Said to be perfect for me because you could see it in the dark. It's made of radium, too? No, but there's some on the face. It may work. Try it on the... That's it. That's it. Try yours. Oh, my God. No, Sally. Get my hands. Get my hands. Some of them are still unconscious. I guess the ray has more effect on some than others. They'll be all right, though. Do you have any litmus paper, Doctor? All I have is pink. I was doing some work with colloids. Oh, that'll do fine. Thank you. We would do better if we would try to get out of here, wherever it is that we are. The people from the other planet turned on the beam in the corridor. It's impossible to get through. We know we were caught from one. Well, what do we do then? Well, this liquid in the tank is similar to our hydrogen. Ah, that is the reason for the litmus paper. If the liquid in the tank is a hydrogen base, the paper will turn blue. That's the idea. Can you tell how strong or active such a liquid might be from inspection of this paper after immersion? Yeah. Yeah. One thing is sure. That is most definitely not hydrogen. Of course not, but it, it should work the same way. Yeah. But it would be greatly accelerated. How much? At least two to hundred power. If you add sodium chloride to a hydrogen base. Uh, you release heat as a side product in the amount of 13,700 calories per mole. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Now, this stuff should heat to a hundredth power of that. It should do that, but uh, what good does it do to make an oven for ourselves? What we need is an explosion. Yeah. No, no, I was, I was coming to that. Uh, if I remember correctly, polyethylene is an unstable compound. Uh, represented by linking CH2 in polymer linkage. Now, add heat. Extreme heat to that formula, and you have... An explosion! Yeah, no, that's what we want. Very dangerous. Yeah. Now, just a minute. Now, hold on. Now, the sodium chloride is easy. Nice common salt, and I've got some that Bob gave me. Uh, the polyethylene is easy, too. All of you have wallets. Well, the inserts oh. are made of it. Okay, come on, Some of you have plastic belts. Okay, come on, boy. Bring it. All the plastic you can find. Take them, dear. Here, may I take a little bill? Sure. Sorry. Here. Mine. Sally, give it to me. Chief, you take the people out of here. I'll take care of the tank.
it'll be great to get back to civilization. We sure owe you a debt. Without your help, those monsters might still be on Earth. I don't think we have to worry about them anymore. Chula Theater takes you to a strange canyon in Mexico where air travelers are captured by a giant one-eyed monster. Lon Chaney Jr. is our star and the film is called The Cyclops. So before you buy those air tickets to Mexico, watch Chula Theater next Saturday at 7.30. Now, for every kid who has ever seen a science fiction movie, Thrilled to the amazing strength of an out-of-this-world movie monster comes Great Garlu by Marx. Garlu the Mighty. Garlu the Untamed. Garlu the Terrible. Who can stop him? Who can control this monstrous creature? You can, kids, because Great Garlu by Marx is yours to command. With these battery-operated controls, you can make Garlu go. Stop, Ben. Pick up. Turn. Yes, Great Garlu, almost two feet tall, will be your faithful servant. You name it, you're the boss. Bring out of this world excitement into your house, kids. Own the most fantastic toy of all. Great Garlu by Marx. M-A-R-X spells Marx, world's largest toy maker.